I'm so glad you're here to catch my next Nerdy Prudes Must Die episode. Yeah! They have to die. They just must. I picked the wrong outfit. <laughs> hey, okay, so we just watched Grace and all the nerds come together plus stuff because she's not a nerd. Maybe she's an honorary nerd at this moment. She's, she's their secret plan, if you will. They have just laid a plan to bully the bully. They're going to trick Max into thinking that there's something cool going on at the Wayland place that he has to come so he doesn't miss out. And then they're going to scare him. I'm not exactly sure what plan they've completely cooked up, uh, but there is a plan. Um, so let's keep watching to see what that is. Are you ready? Here we go. Uh -huh. <laughs> We're shooting this prank in 4K. It's gonna look beast. Uh, you think I can get a little more light in here? Richie, the whole point is that it's in the dark. Well then, uh, I'm gonna have to shoot the whole thing in a wide and it's gonna look like shit. Wait, wait. No, don't take me off your call list. No, I'm not gonna switch my internet provider, but I still wanna talk. Hello? 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 Who was that? My boyfriend. <laughs> Sounded like a telemarketer. Okay, my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> well, Jaegerman's on his way. Oh. You ready? Oh, I don't know. I'm nervous. No, no, no. Don't be. You got this. <laughs> You're, like, super nice to me. Not really. I'm just doing the bare minimum here. You're the best friend I ever had. Oh, that's sad. I think I'm in love with you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is Ruth becoming my favorite character? What does that say about me? Maybe I'm just, I just want to say that I, I don't relate to Ruth, but I am thoroughly entertained by Ruth. <laughs> okay, Richie, be honest. Am I reading as ghost or Lin-Manuel Miranda? <laughs> He's reading as Lin-Manuel Miranda from Hamilton. <laughs> Back from the dead. <laughs> You kind of look like that homeless guy from downtown. Oh. But that could still work. Because he is the homeless guy from downtown. Joey Richters plays the homeless guy from downtown, who is also... Well, I won't spoil anything for you, for you. If you haven't seen it, if you haven't seen it, you should go watch my live Nightmare Time series, because there's some good lore in there. Time Bastard is the reference there. He gets pretty scary sometimes. Yeah. Um, uh, maybe I should lose the glasses. Yeah. Hey, Pete. Check it out. She came all the way out here just to help you. She's waiting for you, buddy. Really? You think Steph actually likes me? No. I'm talking about Ruth. She's so fucking thirsty. Uh, I mean, you could just uh, hit it and quit it, bro. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to, though. You're fucking useless, Pete. What? All right, everyone, get to your posts. Max Yeagerman's coming up the walkway. Operation Potty Pants is about to commence. Okay. Uh. <clears throat> I got a piss. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Steph! It's the Jägermeister! <laughs> I brought the brews! Ruth, cue the sound effects. <laughs> oh, shit. Where's that creepy music coming from? 
What kind of a party is this? Steph? Kyle? Brenda, if you're gonna surprise me, do it all fucking ready. I gotta take a piss. Max. Who's there? Max Yeagerman. What? You have disturbed the spirits of Wayland Hall. Now your soul shall be ours. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. It's a fucking ghost. This is awesome, Grace. It's working. I always knew you fuckers were real. I've been scared of you my whole life. But it's time to stop running. <laughs> Here, ghost, I'm gonna kick your fucking ass! Uh, Grace, we got a problem. What? Is he not buying it? No, he thinks the ghost is real. He's just really fucking brave. <laughs> uh, you can't fight me. I'm an ethereal being, so... We'll see about that. I'm gonna make you say, boo-hoo, bitch! <laughs> <sighs> yes! I make the dead run in fear! I am Jaegerman! I am God! Go Nighthawks! The ghost ran! Send in the skeleton! Oh shit! Oh fuck! I didn't think there'd be a skeleton here! I'm so fucking scared of skeletons! <laughs> He can't even say skeleton right. He cut the T. Skele skele skeletons, skeletons. It's funny. I can't. I don't. I can't even mimic the way he says it. Maybe I should just run. Where, Max? Back home, so Dad can call. Why is he having a Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde moment? Oh, I'm scared. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Why are you scared? Are you some kind of pussy? Yeah, yeah. I'm a pussy. No, I guess I can't be a pussy. Yeah, you can't be a pussy. Interesting. Is he being possessed? Hmm. You little cuck! Can't even fight off one lousy skeleton! Why is he saying no. like that? I got no choice. Hey, skeleton! I got a bone to pick with you, bitch! Come here! Wait! <laughs> we gotta abort the plan! It's not working! It's working for me! He's so violent! Max, stop! <laughs> Steph! We can't have a party here. This place is hella haunted. No. Get behind me. I'll protect you. No. no, it's not real, stupid. That's not a ghost. It's Peter Spankowski. It's all a prank. A trick to scare the shit out of you. Because you deserve it. What? You're telling me you nerds put this whole thing together just for me. That's so nice. Wow. I, uh, I thought you guys hated me. <laughs> but, uh, thanks. <laughs> this was really great. You're not pissed? It's so weird to see this character smiling because we've just seen Rah! the whole time. <laughs> oh, oh. Are you kidding? No, 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 this is like the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. When the, uh, when, when the ghost came out and my heart was like, do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, and the skeleton. Oh, that was really special. <laughs> you know, maybe I had you guys figured all wrong, you know? I thought you're a bunch of nerds. I'm waiting for the catch. I feel like this is just an act. I think that he's really pissed and giving him false hope just to rip him to shreds. That would be the ultimate bully, wouldn't it? But uh, you guys throw one hell of a. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so the couch had nothing to do with him. I mean, it did, but it didn't. It wasn't on purpose. He was actually saying thank you. I think he died. I think so. Ow. 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 He's pissed him. Oh my God! Max, I told you! 
told you this place wasn't structurally sound. He just fell like three stories. Uh, come on. Oh, heck. Oh, heck no. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh, look what you fucking nerds made me do. Oh, I pissed my fucking pants. Uh, Mission accomplished. Max. Not the time for jokes. This dude is dead. And if he's not dead from this, holy shit. This is bad. I'm sorry. I'm very empathetic. I'm just thinking of myself as a fellow nerd, just trying to get back to the bully. I'm just like trying to live my life and survive high school. And I'm just trying to scare the bully. And this happens. Just a freak, terrible, tragic accident. This was not the time for a joke. <laughs> Don't move, okay? We're gonna call up your step. You're just like these. But that's that's fatal. Why is he not dead? Fucking losers! I'm gonna kill you all. Nerdy prudes must pay. Nerdy prudes. Must die. Max? Max? Holy shit, we killed him! Oh my god, oh my god! My kids! Oh, no, no, no. no, this was an accident! The video will show! Yeah, the video will show this was clearly an accident! Uh. I actually didn't get the fall, but I did get a lot of incriminating footage of us luring him here with malicious intent. Oh, it's gonna make us look even more guilty! Oh my god! We're going to jail! And with my luck, no one will even bother making me their bitch! No! No, we're not going to jail! Really, Steph? Because we just murdered a football star right before the big game. This wasn't murder! And it wasn't an accident. It was an act of God. <laughs> Max Jaegerman was a perv, and now he's rotting in hell for it. Oh, yeah. Like that's gonna fly in court. He was smoked. We're not going to court. Trace. This isn't the last we see of Max Jaegerman. That was the last we saw of Max Jaegerman as a human. I think he's gonna be something else now. Because we already know we hear Richie at the beginning and that everyone dies and that that was Max's voice. So we know that he's he's about to be possessed. I, it, interesting. I don't know what you're talking about, but we have to tell the police about this. Why? Max Yeagerman was a menace and now he's gone. No more teasing, no more bullying, no more tickle in our mommy spots. <laughs> Don't you see? We're free. But will people notice he's gone? This is Hatchet Field. People go missing every day. Oh no, she's snapping again. We're gonna bury the body right here in the lobby. Underneath the wooden flooring where his corpse will rot. This is That's pretty low for her. Um, I meant to mention that in the last episode as well. We're gonna bury the bully. Um, bury, bury the bully. The notes weren't quite there, but it's supposed to be kind of speaky, so I'm accepting that from Angela. Um, but if she was really trying to sing that, I would ask her to go rah, 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 to get more of her voice forward because she's tucking her voice in. Bury, bury the boo, da 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 da, here, as opposed to da 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 da. You hear it was the same notes, but one was more clear and concise. Why? We're gonna hack all his limbs off. Why? Hey, hack all his limbs off. Yeah, we're gonna hack all his limbs off. Okay. Stop saying it. How else he gonna fit? Petey 
grab the hatchet, Ruthie. You can grab the acid and Steffi tape. You want me to film this? We're gonna tape them up in plastic after dousing him with the bleach. Tape them up after dousing with bleach. I think I'm gonna throw up. No, this is where you grow up and accept your fate. Ah. Do you wanna get? Ooh, I like that. Ah. Nice falsetto moments from everyone. I loved it. Listen again. <sighs> Plastic after dousing him with the bleach. Shave him up after dousing with bleach. I think I'm gonna throw up. No, this is where you grow up and accept your. I also like that part. I think I'm gonna throw up. No, this is where you grow up. Now I'm getting Beetlejuice vibes because there's very, ah, 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 very talky like that. I'm enjoying. I don't know why I enjoy this one little section. I like it. Let me enjoy myself. You want me to film this? We're gonna tape him up in plastic after dousing him with the bleach. Tape him up after dousing with bleach. I think I'm gonna throw up. No, this is where you grow up and accept your fate. Ah. Do you wanna get the fullest ride? Then start cutting right above the thigh. Key change. We're gonna bury the bully. We're gonna go to Julie. Surely. I hear prison is cushy. Oh, my ass was back. He'll never be found. It's not like we're selling crap. I'm gonna strip him down. That wasn't quite there. The key change, I think there was a key change. I can't even say for sure because it sounded like it in the music, but the their melody lines are kind of, they're, it's kind of off right now. It gives it this kind of clashy type vibe, like something's wrong um, because they're not quite on their pitches. Like, um, And Lauren didn't quite get up that top to that top note right here. Surely I hear prison is cushy. Oh, my ass was back. He'll never I'm gonna strip them down. Duh. She needed a lift a little bit there. I'm gonna strip them down. I'm gonna strip them down. It got, it kind of fell back there. What? Wait, 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 wait. There's a round going on, so there's multiple parts going on. It's funny that he mentioned Lynn Manuel Miranda right before this because it's such a Lynn Manuel Miranda thing to do as you have um parallel speaking parts, like they work together, but like there's one vocal line here, one vocal line here, and they just kind of exist together at the same time, but they're different and they sound cool. It's so cool. It's one of my favorite things when um composers do this in their music. And I think I'm hearing it here from Jeff Flynn. Do y'all remember in Black Friday or in the guy who didn't like musicals I wanted that moment I think I'm getting a little bit of it which is perfect because there should things should is are chaotic now we've hit the trigger as soon as Max Yeagerman died and fell from three stories down boop chaos to reigns selling crap I'm gonna strip him down we're gonna bury the bully we gotta gotta line up our stories it's gonna go to never on me because he's already yeah Mariah's got something else going no She's she's wailing. She's freaking out. I like that. I like that because it shows that they're. I like that it's just one and it's just her. Everybody else seems to be in sync. And Stephanie's like, "Why am I even here? How did it get this far?" So I like that she's going through something something all on her own in her own way. But exit again, still there and existing with everyone else. No one's got a snitch. Hide from the feds. Can we say he slips? I just cut off his nips. Gross. Gross. Don't do that. I just cut off his nips. That was really funny from Lauren, though. And some really nice lower notes happening there, too. Okay. Crap. Um, checking with the time, I'm, I know that, that y'all suggested that I pair this with another video but wow it's already kind of long with the scene and everything and a lot has happened and there's a lot for me to process but wow okay i what i like about these two is that we're gonna bully the bully was just it was kind of a fun and it was kind of a set the tone and it set the tone it set the theme it set the motive up and then chaos happens and then we get a reprise of bury the bully and there's so much going on because the themes and motives were set in place we were able to do more with bury the bully which is great so that was so smart to set it up to set up the normal 
to allow it to go crazy. What a fun little duo piece. I love that. Do I love that Max died? No, I believe everyone deserves to live. I, what are they gonna do? Bury the bully. Okay, so a lot of that though was just very low. No, 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 no. If you are struggling with low notes, I really challenge you to get that rah, rah, not rah, rah. We don't want guttural. We don't want it in the throat. We want it meh, meh, meh. You can mimic a door creaking, which is funny because that's a big sound effect that we keep hearing in this show. Marry the bully. Now, I don't want it to stay here like Kermit the Frog, but then release everything, but kind of have that, there's still a little bit of a push here. Bury the bully, bury the bully. You can have a lot of range if you aim and have that little bit of anchor right in here, a little bit of pressure here, and then release the rest of your body. Na, 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 bury the bully. You can, once you have that anchor in place, you can, it's gonna help you move through your registers and your range a lot more effectively. That was kind of a generic help. Maybe that helps you. I hope it helps someone. If it helps you, put it in the comments below. I, I love it when my videos help someone sing and grow. If that happens to you, please let me know. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun. I'm gonna keep watching and I'll sing with you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss my next post. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, we are gonna bury bully. Gotta, gotta line up the story. It's gonna, gonna never on me. I just got off his nips. <laughs>